tonight's homework is a good review of our line plots and helping us get ready for our test on Wednesday. It starts saying your PE teacher has challenged your class to a rope climb. There are eight pieces of blue tape equally spaced and wrapped around the rope to mark off the distances. The following results represent the goal levels that were reached by the students in your group. So we're going to start off by displaying the data on our line plot. And first thing we want to do before we even mark our X's is label our line plot. So for a title, I'm going to call it our rope climb. And then across the bottom, I see that they're all it said that they were eight pieces. So we're going to be an eight. So one eight, two eight, three eight, four eight, five eight, six eight, seven eight, and eight eight is done for us. Now I can go through, and I want to make sure my X's are as close to the same size as I can. So my first one is four eight, then one eight, then three eight. And then another one eight, another four eight, two eight, three eight, eight eight. Someone made it all the way to the top. Four eight, six eight, and seven eight. Okay, and I'm going to check going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There were eleven climbers, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven exits. So good. Then number two, how many students stopped at the goal line of three eighths? So I find three eighths and I see that there's two X's, which means two students stopped there. Which goal level did the most students reach? Most of them, four eighths has the most X's, so most of them got to four eighths. How many students touched or even passed three eighths of the rope? I find three eighths and I'm counting every X past it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight students went past it. And what was the total distance combined for climbing the ropes? So I had one eight eight, which is one. Then I had one seven eighth and one six eighth. Then I had three four eighths. Two three eighths, one two eighths. And I had one or two one eighths, two one eighths. So I knew that the 8 eighths was 1. I'm going to try to match ones that get me to 8 eighths. So 7 eighths and 1 eighth gives me 1. 6 eighths and 2 eighths gives me 1. I can do 4 eighths and 4 eighths is another 1. Okay, so now I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I have 4 eighths plus 3 eighths is 7 eighths. And then I'm going to add this one more eighth. That's one more. So that gives me five. And then I have three eighths left. So five and three eighths with the total climb, distance climb. On to the back. Solve 216 divided by six. And remember, we're not worried about this. You could do any way. So we've been practicing that long division. That's the way I would expect most of us would do it. So 216 divided by 6. 6 can't go into 2, so 6 goes into 21 three times. Because 4 would be 24, and that's too big. And then I subtract. I get 3, and I bring down my 6. 6 goes into 36 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. And I have no remainder, so 36 is my answer. Number 7. Kevin says that 6 tenths is the same as 6 tenths. Do you agree? And we say yes. 
Okay, one is a decimal version of six tenths, one is a fraction version of six tenths, but they both show tenths, that's the tenths place. Now we're writing each fraction as a decimal, so 25 hundredths, 5 tenths, 3 hundredths, I need to make sure I get all the way up to that hundredths place, so I have to put a zero in the tenths, and then my three in the hundredths, otherwise I would have 3 tenths or 30 hundredths, and that's not the same. Number 10, now we're going the other way. 36, that ends in the hundredths place, so 36 hundredths. 9 tenths. 75 hundredths. And 1 tenth. Number 11, we are comparing two-thirds and three-fourths. Three-fourths is a little bit bigger. Four-tenths and one-half. Four-tenths is less than a half. One-half is a half, so one-half is bigger. Five-sixths and ten-twelfths. Both are bigger than a half, so I'm going to use an equivalent fraction. Six times two is twelve, so five times two is ten, and I see they are equal. And 7 tenths and 75 hundredths, I'm going to make this one have a denominator of 100, which make it 70. So 70 hundredths is a little bit less than 75 hundredths. Okay. So that is tonight's homework. Oh, I missed one fraction. I have one third and one ninth, and both my numerators are one and three is going to give me the bigger piece. So that is tonight's homework. Pages 123 and 124.